I'm Laura Jaquinto from Wyndham Fabrics, and this is the first of our schoolhouses, and I'm very delighted to see all of you here this morning, and I'm more than delighted to introduce you to First Blush and Kimberly Jolly uh, from It's So Emma and Ruby Red Designs, that she's going to describe this, this BOM for you and give you some you know, exciting tips on how you can uh, have a great class. Anyway, without further ado, I'm just going to introduce Kimberly. Thank you for coming to our schoolhouse. Uh, my name is Kimberly Jolly, and I'm the publisher for It's So Emma. And this new Block of the Month program is, this, is with Wyndham. Let me tell you a little bit about the program. As a quilt shop owner also, when I'm doing stuff for our store, I'm always trying to think of what the customer needs to make the entire quilt. So we've put this together. Um, we've got a fabric collection from Wyndham. We've got a book a ruler, and article thread. So you've got everything you need to make this successful for all of your students. So let's first talk about the quilt. It's 97 inches square. It looks very hard, but a beginner can do this. In our shop, someone who's been quilting for a month made this quilt right here using the ruler. And so that's pretty hard. So if you know, this can be done by a beginner. We have lots of steps. Have any of you ever purchased an It's So Emma book before? So we put a lot of time into our patterns, making sure that everything is full color, uh, making sure there's no mistakes, you know, really nice printing. We also have this Block of the Month pattern for $24.95, which is a really low price for Block of the Month. You know, a lot of the Block of the Months out there are $60. Well, that's really, I think, really expensive for the end consumer. So we made it a reasonable price. The book is available in September, and it's a 12-month program. And our inspiration for this was, I love star blocks. And I wanted to do something very different than what is out there right now. And right now, what I see a lot of is 1800s reproductions, which is great, but... You know, the consumer can only do so much of that. So when I was doing this, I tried to design something very fresh, airy, spring, and totally unique. So in designing this, we designed a Creative Grids ruler. It's called the Starburst 30 Degree Triangle Ruler, and Sarah's going to pass some of those around so you all can see it. You're going to see some lines on it, and that is how you're going to get these different angles. And the best thing about this block of the month is you don't need templates, and you don't need the paper piece. You just need the ruler. And the ruler is available now by Creative Grids. And we love, you know, the Creative Grids rulers with the dots, and, you know, they're really nice. You know, they don't slip. We also have some um, thread boxes. They're both 50 weight. We're going to pass these around, too, and we're going to be giving away lots of these boxes. And so we selected these colors to go with the quilt. It matches the colors perfectly. They're all 50 weights. So you can use this to piece and to quilt. And if any of y'all know anything about me, like I love thread. So this is like my thing. It's our quilt. And it's available now. Oops. And so we did similar colors. And the small pack has 10 spools. And the large box has 12 spools. So I'm going to kind of show you how this ruler works and how, you know, it can really work for a beginner. So in our book, we have a detailed description on how you start your fabric. What we do is we starch it 100% and we hang it to dry. I do it on my bathtub at home, and that is going to create a stiffness to your fabric that is going to completely go away when you quilt it and piece it. But when you're working with the bias, you will see no stretch if you do this. And I made this quilt in two days. Um, yeah, feverishly, she says. <laughs> so I'm going to show you how this top left block, how you construct it, and how easy it is. So I've starched my fabrics, and you're going to have, you know, this is 21 inches wide. It's going to be wider. We just didn't have enough room on the board. You're just going to put two five and a quarter inch by 21 inch strips stitch them together, and press open. And you're going to have two of the yellow and two of the pink. And then you're going to put the A1 line 
that is on your ruler here on the seam and you just cut around it. It's super, I mean, it's so simple. And you're going to make six yellow flower petals and six pink flower petals. So that's pretty easy. I mean, any beginner can starch their fabric, sew, you know, two strips together and cut from a ruler. I mean, there's no thinking in it at all. And then every, every block is done in a quadrant. So you sew three together four times. And we have very detailed instructions in the book of where to clip because you do get a lot of bulk right here. But we have up close photos. We're going to actually pass around the books. Laura, can you pass around some books? These are just books that are in a binder. Of course, your book is going to come professionally printed, full color with a regular spiral. This is just our draft. September, September. The fabric is available October. The book is going to come out in September, so you have it a little bit ahead. And the thread and ruler are available now. And so, um, you know, to get this perfect point to work, you've got to do some clipping. But I have really close up, up close photos you're going to see in the book that make this come out perfect. And then you just sew those together, and it looks kind of gooey, but it's because we glued it, so just ignore that. <laughs> That's not my piece. And then you just take a 12 and a half inch ruler, and this Creative Grits ruler has a white line right in the middle, so you can just stick, stick that right on your center seams, and you cut around it. And the thing that's marvelous is, when you cut it, you get a perfect block. So you're always going to have a 12 and a half inch block. You're not going to have a 12 and a quarter inch block because you know none of us really make a 12 and a half inch block. I don't. I know nobody else does. But this one you do. And the neat thing also, and we show this in the book also, is, and you can't really tell in this block, but if you place the ruler here, you get one look. If you place the ruler here, you're going to get a completely different look on some of these um, like something like this. Yeah, you get a completely different look. And I caught that when I was sewing it, and so that's in the book. It's how to not do that. And then, you know, you get your block. Uh, we also have some other other patterns that go with first blush. This is an It's So a pattern with an 898 retail. It's called Posy. This one it's a CLP that you can get from Checker. They're the really inexpensive patterns. And this was made with the ruler and the First Blessed collection. And I'm telling you, she has only made how many quilts? This is her second. Yeah. This is her second quilt. We'll give these points. I know. Yeah. And she works for us, and she doesn't even, I didn't even know she owned a sewing machine, and she showed up with this quilt. And I was like, okay. Well. <laughs> so we know that we know that it is easy, and it is beginner. And then this the first one again. Yes. And so you can see you can get a really a lot of different looks from the from the pattern. You know, here we just wanted to go with the pink and the blues. Yeah, this one does. Yeah, this one doesn't use the ruler. And the second one we use every piece of fabric and the ruler. And this last one we use the ruler and we, we love it because it looks like a drunkard's pad. And this is from the first blush collection. And it's just your red, some of your classic colors. Yeah. And so you can really see how much you can do with this fabric collection. Yeah, so on this one, like, the little quadrant is right here, mm -hmm. you know. Because everything's done in a quadrant. And if you, you know, in all our patterns, we're going to show how you clip and you can see this is not a bulky point. I mean, this is your center. You can come look at it and feel it, and the way we clipped, it's not poking out. So, do any of y'all have questions for us on the block of the month? The, any of the stuff? So, if we were to purchase this and start our advertising now, we can have a picture of the quilt. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or you can email me and we can let you borrow the quilt. Oh, yeah. And they're going to be selling fat quarter bundles of the first blush tonight at, at Sample Spree, so you could get one. And um, we can send you now if you want, you know, you can pay for a draft book, 
And then if you get this bundle, you can make a majority. You should be in two bundles. Shop kits. Tell me about shop kits. Yes. I know well, there. I know they're they're putting them together, and I think they're starting to they're ship. Gonna ship them. They're shipping them, mm -hmm. I think, yeah. um, uh, in June, right? Right when we get back. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. shop kits. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Shop kits. Yeah. yeah. And it's a so they're available if you sign up. And also, just for deliveries, the fabric will be going to the stores for the BOM in October, so you can start your programs at that time. So you have plenty of time from the time you get your shop kit to make your your protos and be ready for your you know BOM and get pre-sales. Yeah. Yes, you said it's a 12-month program. Is that complete then? Yes. Yes. So, like for example, in the first month, you're going to make these two, and you see how similar they are? So this is just a larger version, and then this uses the same exact technique, different strip sizes yeah. to get the smaller. So each month you make two. In the last month, you make the center block and all the finishing corners. Yeah. Yes? Can you talk about that starch process? I, I read yes. something where that you had talked about it before. I don't quite understand what exactly. So what I do, and I got this from Lisa Bonjean, who's a fabric designer at Moda. I get the heaviest, heaviest, heaviest starch. I use faultless. Faultless premium starch. You get it at Costco. It's cheap. I spray it, and when I say I spray it, when you touch it, it is soaking wet. It's dripping. Yep. Dripping wet. <laughs> and when you, you and I just lay it on my bathtub. I mean, all the way around my bathtub, and then on my shower, I just lay it. It takes about. 24 hours to dry, and then it's very stiff. And when you cut with that ruler, it is, you're not gonna have a stretch. When it goes through the sewing machine, there's no stretch. I wasn't unpicking seams when I made this, and I'm a perfectionist. You know, every single one of these points has to match. I didn't have to unpick, I didn't have any, um, and I think if I wouldn't have used starch, I think it, there would have been a lot of bias, because those are all bias seams. I don't do that on my back end. And I don't necessarily do that on my border. And I know that people probably don't like that because everything's going to shrink a little different. But I never wash my quilt, so it doesn't matter to me. <laughs> like, if I wash a quilt, I don't even like it anymore. So I, I just don't like the look of it. So you don't wash your fabric first? Nope. You just, you just start it. And it pre-shrinks it. And if there's any kind of, like, um, it's only happened a couple of times. If there's, like, a dye that's running, I just search it again later and just make sure all of it comes out. I never wash my fabric. They say about starch, sometimes some starch is a little bit attractive. I don't know, it doesn't work, it doesn't happen to me. And I live in Texas. Well, I mean, yeah, I know you live in Yeah. Okay, I mean, so. I think it's just a really personal, I mean, I'm sure you can get the same effect without starching. And really starching, washing, all of that is just personal. Sure. Yeah. What about best press, which you can sell? You can do that. I don't use that product, but because it's not stiff enough for me, like I like it stiff. But you can try it and see. It makes it pretty stiff. It does? I mean, well, yeah, it stabilizes your brain, so it doesn't stretch from the so. I mean, that's how we sell it. Yeah, so you can do that. Here's the lady over Are there more of the pages, the, the color pages that have the fabric? Um, Oh, Cody, do you have any more? Yeah, they're right behind Sarah. Huh. And did everybody get a char pad? No. If you did, okay, just yeah. raise your hand. And that woman on, uh, over there has been wanting to ask a question to you over there. <laughs> I also have a question. Okay. And I didn't get a char pad. I got a question. He said you made it in two days, right? Uh -huh. What, 24 hours a day? <laughs> it took about probably 20, 20 hours. But I mean, it did take me a day before that to start it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, not a day, but I mean, it, it takes me a couple hours to start the day before, and then I just. But see that when you starch it like that, and you come, your fabric is ready to go. You just iron press cut. I mean, there's no. To me, it goes faster the second time. You know, the second day because you've got all that stiffness in your fabric, and some people might not like it. And if you don't like it, definitely don't do it. But it's what I do, and I have no problems with it. You do this. Every book. Unless it's like a gift and I'm like last minute. But yeah. And all my employees think I'm crazy. They're like, there's no way they would do it. But it's just, I just, 
I like everything to be very perfect. And that's the way that I can achieve it. Now everybody else has their own things. Oh, yes. Is it made with the back word bundles except for like the background and stuff? Mm -hmm. Uh, no. Let me see. Yeah. Let's see. With the same I think we just made it. We did. And so the fabric requirements, I'll show it to you. The fabric requirements are generally like fat A's or 10 by 20, so they're 20 inch strips. So this is kind of, and so if you were going to hit this, you could price it. Um, I could email you these two pages and it would tell you exactly how many yards you need so you could price it. Well, that's already ready. And they're going to have this book in the Wyndham booth, Checker booth, Checker booth, United Nations book, Shane booth, and Brewer booth. We still have to give giveaways. Yeah. 33. And I used all, I used 32. I used 31 for the front. This was the back. And then there's another back that's exactly the same, but blue. Yeah, so there's two backing options. You can do either pink or blue. You see how some people don't like pink and some people don't like blue. Are you, do you have any other questions? Okay, we're gonna have a lot of really awesome giveaways. So okay, if you haven't passed yes. out your if you haven't, raise your hand and I'll come grab. Oh, I can just move this in there. Yes. For the what? Yep. Uh -huh. I have my business card. All the way over there. <laughs> this shop pockets will have all the like Yes, it'll have that exact book in there. It's going to have that exact. We've already sent it. Well, does the booth have the prices requirement? Yeah, the book, well, they'll have the book and the booth. Yes, right? yes, so they'll have the book. The the, uh, okay. What page number is it? 67. Yeah. And we'll also have the quilt displayed in the window booth at 18. Uh, 17, so if you come down and you can look at it closely, spend some time down there. Yes? And I'm just referring to it as a book. It's, it's actually a book, isn't it, Kimberly? She's saying it. it's actually a book. Right? Yeah, it's a book. One book. Yep. Monthly, they're getting just the Yep. Okay, thank you. And then the articles just, you know, if they want something like that. So we're going to be giving away Oracle thread and some rulers. So if y'all can pass back the ones that we I think sent back there. Back. I think everybody, everything came up. <laughs> you didn't win it yet. Yeah. <laughs> this, is be the, this is going to be in your booth? Yes. We're What's going to be in the window? What is the booth number? 1817. Right close to the entrance. So you can come right over to our booth. <laughs> Okay, so first we're going to give away a small, we're going to give away four article, four different hunters. Silver Thimble Nanette Gazanto. Oh, thank you. Okay. Hey, we'll bring it to you. You don't have to get out. Michelle Banton from Little Pup Designs. <laughs> Bear Paw Quilting Catherine Voss. Okay. Okay. And you have one more, right? One more, yes. The Creative Needle Mary Chamberlain. Oh, all the way in the back. Oh, there you go. <laughs> okay, y'all are not cheering very loud, but it's awesome. <laughs>
Anna Sewing Center. What's her name? Just do the, it's on the back. Oh, Roseanne. Oh, Woo! <laughs> Away from the side there. Linda Nicopolo. My first round roll, sorry. Carrie Golder, Kitty Giddy. Oh, that's me. All right. That's a good thing because I almost put one in the box. Alice Benham from the Kentucky Quilt Company. Thanks for coming, everyone. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. If you want to come up and take a look, you have a little time. We have a little time.